Welcome back, everyone. Heart disease remains the number one killer in America. Everyone knows that there are statin drugs out there, aspirin, surgery, even diet, and all of these are vital for health heart or healthy heart. But a new study is grabbing the attention of many doctors across the country. And here to tell us more is natural health care expert Dr. Mark Mincola. Good to see you. Like Great to always. be here. Thank you. So there's a new study out there that does not include surgery, does not include all these drugs, but instead includes magnets. Temple University researchers have been working for years on thinning oil for engines and pipelines right, with this right. magnetic technology. They've now applied the same technology to thinning human blood. Isn't that unbelievable? Incredible. Now, Mark, when I think about this, I think, uh, you know, I have this vision of someone taking a magnet <laughs> and, like, running it across. That's certainly not the case. No, what they've done in these uh, studies, Kim, is they've isolated blood cell samples. But they found some remarkable research, remarkable information in this research. They found that a mere one minute of magnetic exposure, that's the equivalent of MRI exposure, yes. one minute reducing the blood thickness by 30%. Wow. Incredible. And in so many people who are fighting this, that is a huge difference. Well, in one minute lasts four hours. So think of the applications. The sure. possibilities are incredible. Absolutely. Okay, so how would they go about applying this? Would it be like an MRI machine? Is that well, how we go about it? There, there, there's many different p potential applications that still have to be researched. There's a lot of study that needs to be done. But there's many possibilities. You know, over in Europe and over in the Far East, there, there are many different magnetic beds. Folks are, are now ordering and purchasing magnetic beds. Uh, they can, of course, range from different potencies and powers of, pol of polarizing magnitude. So there's machinery. There's all kinds of magnetic possibilities that mm -hmm. have developed in terms of product. It's going to be remarkable in the next 10 years. Let's talk about the individual who ha would have to have this. Um, would a doctor determine the strength at which you would you would go into a magnetic field? I mean, would it be like a prescription? It really would be, and yeah. I think that's the direction we're heading mm -hmm. in. But the candidates would be people who have very thick blood blood viscosity. Okay. You know, the idea that they may have a heavy clotting factor. Mm -hmm. uh, those folks who are on aspirin, for example, obviously. A lot of folks with heart disease want to make sure that their clotting factor is regulated. This could be one way to help regulate that. Sure. What about side effects? Because we know statin drugs often have side effects. Sure. I mean, they're, yeah. they're out there. So what would this do? Well, the authors of this particular study at Temple will say, hey, you know something that's amazing? There are absolutely no contraindications, no side effects whatsoever, really? and complete replicatable response here. So they can replicate these over and over and over, same same numbers. Now, what would we be talking about here, Mark? I mean, is this something that you, someone would do daily? Would they do this once a week, a month? Well, again, in this particular pilot study, this very early phase of things, they're finding that one minute of magnetic right. exposure equaling four hours. Okay. So let's say, for example, let's just kind of daydream for a second here. You can make a magnet in a bed. Mm -hmm. and put it underneath the bed right. and have somebody sleeping for a period of six, seven, eight hours. Now, do the math on this. You right. could actually carry yourself through that process for a whole day or so after that sleep. Sure, absolutely. Okay, and what about the cost of this? Because this sounds like something that could be very costly. Well, I think it actually may be the opposite. I think that the idea that magnets are fairly inexpensive and it depends on the, the gauze or the power of those magnets, mm -hmm. the structure of those magnets and the placement of those magnets. But I think it really could be a remarkably affordable way to to thin the blood. Maybe more affordable than these drugs that we're talking about or ultimately surgery and the issues that are associated with heart well, disease. Well, I, th I think affordable, number one, and number two, safe and effective. Yeah. And who couldn't do this? I right, mean, again, right, there's right. no contraindications. This is safe for everybody. Yeah, that's the part I think that probably is the most amazing Absolutely. is that it's not affecting any other organs. It's not causing any other kinds of no problems. No side effects. And I think the other thing, Kim, is for years people have been talking about it kind of in, a, in an interesting sort of pop culture fact, right. you know, right. magnets, magnets, magnets. But now we're starting to find that science is saying, hey, there's something really to this because it polarizes those blood cells because there's iron in the blood. The researchers mm -hmm. say because sure. of that iron in the blood, it polarizes those blood cells and it shortens the chains thinning the blood. It's pretty remarkable. It really is. It is remarkable and it could make such a difference in a disease that is affecting Americans Indeed. every single day. Great to see you. Great to see We're you glad as well. you came and told us about that. Thanks. Keep us updated we'll on do. it. I'll that's do for that. Sure.